What's up guys, Daily Challenges, Madame Nazar's location, and Collector Challenges for Group 1 is what we have in today's video. We have muskrats, winter green berries, animal meat soil, we have some posse verses, free room, races. Madame Nazar is going to be located southwest of Ocre's Run at that location right there. Next we have winter green berries, a good location is going to be in the Cumberland Forest area. You'll find plenty of locations over here. Most of these spots only have one winter green berry, except for up at the top, I think between those two, there's about four. So you're probably better off coming to the word forest, and you'll be able to find plenty of locations over here. So today we have to skin two muskrats. There's going to be plenty of locations. I'm going to go ahead and recommend a few that are kind of in the same area, not too far from Cumberland Forest, so we can try and bang out our challenges. But here are locations all across the map. Some of my favorite locations are going to be the creek over here in Big Valley, you also have the oil rig that is in the Heartlands, which we're coming up right here. And then also the Heartland Overflow all around. Shallow waters are basically going to be great places to find your muskrats. But in this area, in the little canals from the Heartland Overflow all the way down to Dewberry Creek, hopefully you guys will be able to find some. Another great spot on the eastern part of the map is going to be around the Blue Water Marsh area. And that's usually where I like to go. Sometimes you might have better luck during the day daytime versus nighttime so for collector challenges again we have group one try to have a metal detector to find the majority of these with the clocks being changed these will reset at 7 p.m eastern time in the u.s and keep in mind some of these items will switch daytime versus nighttime so we're going to be in the heartlands for these collector challenges you'll be able to find tarot cards jewelry coins dig sites heirlooms and arrowheads first location is a dig site should be a family heirloom move on to a half eagle coin at citadel rock followed by a piece of jewelry at twin stacks pass should be able to find a piece of jewelry right there. Slate arrowhead, then a crude arrowhead. Keep in mind those could rotate. 1792 quarter. Then we move on to a tarot card. A piece of jewelry or an arrowhead at Heartland Overflow. Then we move on to two locations with tarot cards right there just north of that little pond. Then an emerald ranch. Move on to a piece of jewelry. And then all over in Dewberry Creek, a random item could be a coin, arrowhead, piece of jewelry. As we move south in Dewberry Creek, you can find either some random items, most likely jewelry or arrowheads. Then we move on to a dig site, which should be an arrowhead, a piece of jewelry on the hill. These next locations, the majority of them are going to be flowers, except for this location coming up down at the dock. Could be a coin, arrowhead, jewelry. These, again, more flowers. Then we move into Ringneck Creek, where you're going to find a 1789 penny. There is also a creek plum at that location. And if you need another dig site... There is a crude arrowhead over at this spot near Matic Pond, although that could rotate to an arrowhead or something else. For some more tarot cards, coin, or heirlooms, you can head down to Rhodes. There is a coin at that location, family heirloom here. These next two spots are going to be a family heirloom and a tarot card, followed by two tarot cards not too far from where the fence is located. These locations are for eggs and antique alcohol bottles to the west of Van Horn. You're going to be able to find yourself an antique alcohol bottle. We move down into Blue Water Marsh, you're going to be able to find a couple locations for eggs. Then we have another antique bottle at the house in the bayou. Three eggs at that location, an antique bottle on the first floor in the dining room of Braithwaite Manor, an antique alcohol bottle to the south of Cumberland Forest. Then we have three eggs at that location, an eagle egg here, and then these last two spots are going to be alcohol bottles. Another great spot to get some of these challenges done, like arrowheads, flowers, heirlooms, and dig sites, is going to be over at McFarland Ranch. First two locations are flowers. Then we move on to a dig site under the bridge, which should be an heirloom. We have another flower at that location. This one is an arrowhead or a piece of jewelry. A tarot card down at the dock. We have another dig site, which should be an arrowhead. Another dig site, which will be a family heirloom. Another coin. And then we move into tall trees for another dig site, which should be an arrowhead. A tarot card. Then we have another dig site, which should be a family heirloom, followed by a tarot card at Quaker's Cove. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope the video helped, and I'll see you guys next time.